Several days after a cyber attack forced Huntsville City Schools to cancel classes this week, teachers returned to campuses today. But students won't resume instruction until Monday. Some parents told us that this week's news came as a shock. As they now prepare to send their children back on Monday, some worry about just how serious the cyber attack was and how much sensitive information might be in the wrong hands. Way 31's Max Cohan learned what parents and city officials are saying. I know some parents are like completely unaware and they're like, what did they get? But then I also have the fear of, I know how much you can get. And I'm like, they have my child's birth certificates. They have my IDs, our socials. After this week's cyber attack, Huntsville City Schools parents like Amanda Short are concerned. Short says in addition to wondering what kind of personal information might have been taken, she now has to try to balance working from home with keeping her Chapman Middle School student busy. I have phone calls and I have meetings and things I have to get done. And I have this child who has nothing to do. Short says she wishes the district had alerted parents earlier of the possibility that their children could be out of school all week, something she says would have given her more time to find activities for her son. You struggle with, are you going to be the parent who just lets them play video games all day because it's so much easier and it keeps them occupied? Or do you try and scrounge throughout the day and find productive things for them to do, which has been our struggle? Short said she is excited to send her son back to school, but wonders how safe it will be to have him log on to these devices again, still unsure of what has been compromised. We'll now move on to, uh, During a Huntsville City Council meeting Thursday, there was no mention of the cyber attack. Councilman Bill Kling says this is because the school is a separate legislative authority independent of city government, adding that the city can always step in to help if needed. Again, the school board, they call the shots. They decide what they want to do, their course of action. If they want us to help in any way, we're certainly glad to do so. But we respect the school board for uh, the job that they're doing, and they've been working very, very hard on this. And that was Way 31's Max Cohan reporting. Councilman Kling says that everyone has their guard up after the attack. He says local leaders are working diligently to get to the bottom of the situation so it doesn't happen again.